So we've had a lot of questions about the state data glitch and what does that mean for our numbers and what does it mean going forward? First question is what exactly happened? Short answer, the piece of the system that takes information from the labs that test samples and reports it to the health departments where the patient lives broke. And it broke sometime the later half of July and they have fixed it over the weekend. And so as a result of the fix, we had a lot of new reports come through our systems. And so our data team spent a lot of time on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday sorting through these results. A little bit longer answer is that this is just part of how health departments are informed about disease. So California law requires that physicians and labs report to the health department where their patient lives about certain communicable diseases. It specifies time frames and methods. However, there is no one single route. And so the benefit of that is that we have redundancy, which means that labs may not be able to send information electronically the way they do normally, but that did not impact their ability to report to physicians. So if you got a COVID test during the data glitch, your physician would have gotten your results at the same time you would have gotten it normally. And if they're reporting directly to you, you would have gotten your results at the same time you got them normally. Now, because we work with our testing centers, we work with our physicians, we work with our hospital, we work with our clinics, we have multiple routes to get this information. And so we did not necessarily suffer from the data glitch. One of the big questions about the data glitch is how does it affect our status on the county monitoring list? The short answer right now is it doesn't. So right now we are well above where we need to be to get off the monitoring list. To get off the monitoring list, we need about seven cases a day, new cases a day in Sutter County, six new cases a day Yuba County, call it roughly 13 for the bi-county region. At present, yesterday we reported 64, and without the glitch, which is about 20%, we would have reported approximately 40, 45 new cases. So we need to get it from about 45, where we've been the last couple days, down to about 13. The other question is how does it affect percent positivity? And that's an area that is not as easy to, to give you a quick answer for, for several reasons. First of all, the glitch did not just affect positive labs. It affected negative labs. Now, just to be clear, it didn't affect your ability to get your test results. It didn't affect your physician's ability to get your test results. It affected the ability of labs to report to the local and state health departments. So right now, the state is working very diligently to make sure it's got a good handle on exactly how many tests were performed, how many were negative, and how many were positive. And then it can start reporting percent positivity again, because we need both of those numbers. And unfortunately, because we don't have as good an idea of how many negative labs are out there, we can't give you a, as, as easy an answer as we can on what percentage of our new cases are old.